It's your boy, Mr. RTV and Mr. 214 Senior Dos. No, what the Senior Dos? Catos and Mr. Undeniable. Mr. D Boys can't touch me. <coughs> On my worst day, we right here with Floyd, Kid Austin, Schofield Jr. What's poppin', my guy? Question What did you just say? <laughs> That's a Floyd Senior so, asked yesterday. I'm Mr. 214 in my city, so. I said, Mr. 214, Dos Uno Cuatro, 214, Dos Cuatro, 214. You know. So you're just speaking in numbers? Yeah, speaking in numbers. Oh my God. That's how we coming, man. That's why, you know, everybody know me from the 214, so across the pond, how I'm coming. But be right here, man. This is a big event. Yeah. Uh, debut, Golden Boy. You know, how you feeling right now, Chuck? I feel good. I'm ready to get in there, showcase what I got. Like I said, I think it's gonna be a first round knockout, and it's just a statement, you know, to the world that I'm, I'm here for good. Champ, champ, champ. So a lot of fighters, they say the cliche, "Oh, I'm not nervous. I don't wake up nervous," you know, because each fight, it's a step in a different level. Like just mm -hmm. think about your last fight, being on the car. Now you headlining the car. So, do you wake up? Feeling nervous before the fight? Nah, not at all. Cause it's like I, I've been here before. I knew I was gonna be here, but like you know, growing up in the amateurs, you know, you fought in big crowds before. You know, you got booed before. Like it's nothing new. You know, I'm ready for whatever. And um, I don't really get nervous before my fights, cause I know at the end of the day, I know what I'm capable of, and I know it's a fight. You are gonna get hit in the fight. Some like some can happen. So it's you just go in there and give your all, and shoot. There ain't nothing to be about contact sport. You knew what you was getting into. Yeah, with, with, with this big time moment, you know, um, you being, um, I'm not saying Oscar don't have black fighters on his roster. You're the standout black fighter now that he has on his roster. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it circulates that he don't do that, but you broke the code. Yeah. And they said, so now that's out the window. Do you feel any pressure, you know, with everything, you know, the 200 amateur fights, winning all the tournaments, Kid Austin, they ferocious, the spawn stories, saying you beat Haney, you gave it to Shakur and all the other guys, this moment? I mean, not really, because it's like, uh, people going to talk, people going to say stuff. Um, and honestly, I don't think it's more of a, you know, racial thing, you know, other people have they totally different views. They feel like Oscar hate black people, but I take it as business is business. And if you can sell tickets and sell seats, they don't care if you was purple. Like at the end of the day, they gonna put you where you need to be. So there's no real, no weight on my shoulders because of that. Cause I know once I show what I got, they gonna want to promote me even more. So. Last question, Sean. Um, what's next after this? Um, a lot of people around the world, you know, I don't like to go off uh, anything can happen. We do know anything can happen in boxing, but the majority of the world, uh, they see this fight as Kid Austin is the heavily favorite. Um, I'm not trying to look past your opponent, but mm -hmm. we look for you to put on a tremendous show tonight. What's next after this fight? Dad, I'm gonna need you to help me finish this sentence because I can't say these words on camera. <laughs> I, that was the purpose, but we want everybody, you know, all the top contenders. Uh, Who the top contenders? People they say top contenders like Mark Castro. Mark Castro on the top contender part. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Uh, the trash dude from um, Top Rank. Keyshawn. Yeah. Keyshawn Davis. Yeah. <laughs> I go call him trash, but y'all know. Um, and just everybody you know, they talking about the top prospect because so not cool. everybody. Yeah, not a I mean, yeah, he's not a prospect no more, but I would yeah. love that fight. But I, I know I'm not gonna get that next, but it would, you know, be good to, you know, show who the real prospect is. Not every you can't have 20 prospects in the same weight division, so it's only a matter of time. And hopefully, I get that fight next with either one of them. And if I don't, so be it. Well, Chuck, uh, thank you for this interview. I look forward to seeing your fight tonight. Yes, sir. Mr. R2B8, the speed book, the kid, I'm